This is exciting. Um, so one of the reasons it's exciting is I told you a couple weeks ago that I was going to start showing you more of my actual living space. And so today, because it's Monday, um, it's also my laundry day. So I thought I would show you my bedroom because I was just folding laundry a minute ago. Well, I just brought this basket in default. Um, the rest is still in the laundry room. Um, but also the light was lovely in here today. So I thought I would just um, sit on the edge of my bed and do this because we're actually talking about a more productive view and how can you be more productive and figuring out how to juggle your chores with your running your business, with running your family, all those things comes into play, right? How can you be more productive? What can you do to set yourself up for success? So this is one of those things where I wanted to do a couple different things today. And how do I make that happen and still be productive? Um, and so there's an order to how I do things. And I typically work very hard on Monday mornings to get my week set up, pull stuff together, um, really set my week up for success. So I do all my calendar stuff. I look at my money stuff. Um, I create the list of people I'm going to do outreach with in terms of getting clients and, and finding clients. And while I'm doing that, I've put laundry in the, in the wash. And so the machine has been deployed. It is working for me while I'm doing the other stuff. And then I typically have a couple coaching clients and then I switch some laundry and I sometimes wait till the end of the day to fold it, but sometimes I do it around lunchtime, which is just before I do this Facebook live, except that today I haven't eaten yet because I had a, a call go a little bit long, but I will eat right after this. But what happens is I'm in a bunch of different rooms all day long. I'm moving around a lot and um, it's easy to get distracted. It's easy to go into the mode of I'm going to do something else during this time or, oh, I'm in my bedroom now. I see I could um, do some dusting or vacuuming or um, I've been meaning to change that bulb on the light lamp table, you know, whatever it is that can distract you and get you off of your plan. So one of the things I want to talk about with setting up your, your space for success in terms of productivity is how to limit the distractions when you do do something in a room. And, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to do this video and demonstrate that I am in fact going to be folding laundry. Um, and to do that, I, Ordinarily, I'd be standing on the other side of my bed so that I could use the bed as the folding table. But right now, and look, I've got lint on here. I've got things inside out. I actually don't turn them right side out when I fold because it saves time. Um, when I go to put them on, I turn them right side out and I've got to put them on a hanger or something to do the steamer and or iron them anyway. So it's a much more convenient time to do it. Um, so just... So you can see, I have a space that gets the clothes. I have categories, predetermined categories of how I fold the clothes um, so that when I go to put things away, it's literally that stack goes to this space, this stack goes to that space. There's no more futzing with it, okay? So I've set myself up for success by having some predetermined categories, having a, a designated place for the things to go once I've folded them, having enough space to lay out the categories as I fold and setting... Um, a time aside to do the folding, which is usually around lunchtime or at the end of the day at five, depending on, on how busy my midday is. But there's a plan in place, right? Um, the other thing that can keep me from being distracted is having a good night's sleep. So this is the most overlooked productivity tip out there, and that is to get a good night's sleep. So you want to start with going to bed at the same time every night. I know it seems like it's going to be hindering. It doesn't matter what the time is, but be consistent in your bedtime. There are exceptions. You may be invited to a special party or you may go to a movie that runs longer, you know, something like that. But those become more of the exception, not the standard. You set your about when you're going to bed every night. It makes getting up at the same time every morning much easier. Even if you don't fall asleep for the first few days or weeks, 
you want to go ahead and have that evening routine and get in bed and turn out the light and prepare your body for sleep. So it gets used to having a sleep schedule. Um, and then the third thing, I'm just looking at my notes. Um, so the having the sleep is going to be the focus. It's going to keep what you're planning to do top of mind without getting as distracted. Because when we're depleted is when we can't keep our focus. So as long as you have picked your activities for the day and you have a good night's sleep, chances are you'll be able to follow through much more easily than if you didn't. Um, but my other tip is to use your timer. I use my phone. Some people use time timer, but I literally go around all day. Sorry, it's weird. The reverse thing always has me turning things backwards. Um, I just set for 20 minute intervals. So I become very aware of um, where I am in the process. I know I can do certain tasks in 20 minutes. And if I finish early, I move on to the next task. But 20 minutes is a nice sweet spot because it also allows me to, if my mind is wandering or the ADD is particularly bad, I can go off track for a little bit, but not so long that I can't recover by the end of the day. So it's the alarm goes off and it reminds me, I got to check in about what I'm doing, where I'm at in my day, what, what I'm working on and what's going to be next. The other thing the 20 minute timer allows me to do is use, make use of my now next after that approach to getting things done. Right now I'm working on my Facebook live. I don't usually multitask to fold laundry. I just wanted to show you the example of, of how I set myself up to be able to do it. I will do laundry right after I finish the Facebook live um, or fold the laundry. It's already done. Um, so there is a method to the madness, right? Now I'm doing the Facebook live. After that, I'm folding the laundry after that, or yeah, next fold the laundry after that, eat lunch. So I have a plan. And if I were to set the alarm for 20 minutes, I'd have to finish the Facebook live within 20 minutes. Um, and technically I started about 10 minutes before one, cause I have to set up all the, the feeds and, and, and I'd bring the the microphone into the other room for today. Um, so that's what I'm talking about, setting yourself up for success, creating that productivity mindset that allows you to keep being more productive. And the more of these little steps you take towards being more productive, the more productive you're going to be, and you will become a more productive you. Anyway, this month we're focusing on productivity. So every little bit helps and every piece of the puzzle, uh, creates a, a bigger picture of what's going on. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns as always, and I will answer them in the comment section. And thanks for joining. See you next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.